Hey guys, Josh here with the Bethesda E3 recap video. Let's get straight into it, starting with the new Fallout game. Fallout 76 is said to be a prequel to all of the other Fallout games. It is described as four times the size of Fallout 4. Currently, we don't know whether this means content-wise or map size, but either way, it means it's going to be huge. It is set in West Virginia and you play as the first person to surface from the vault after the Great War. There are six distinct regions that the player will explore throughout the game that has a variety of enemies and missions. Todd said that there is an entirely new set of enemies and these are based off of West Virginia folklore. The game is an online multiplayer title that focuses on open world survival. There will be multiple real world players in the same server at the same time, I believe it was 12. Crafting and building mechanics will be similar to Fallout 4. In regards to multiplayer, other players will be able to attack and kill you. The map contains nuke sites that can be activated and used against other players. Codes are found scattered around the map and when completed they can be used at the nuke site to target other players or settlements. You can group up with other players and use each other's codes for these nuke sites. We also got confirmation of a beta but currently no details about when it will release, but the full game will be releasing on November 14th. The Fallout 76 Special Edition was also announced called Power Armor Edition. It contains a full scale wearable power armor helmet, canvas carry bag, glow in the dark world terrain map, 24 collectible Fallout figurines, a steelbook case, in game items, and access to the Fallout beta. This edition costs $200 and available to pre order now. Following on from the Fallout 76 news, Fallout Shelter is now available on PS4 and Nintendo Switch for free. Rage 2 is set in a post-apocalyptic world ruined by an asteroid which killed 80% of the world's population. The E3 trailer showed off the Eden Space Center mission and the link will be down in the description to watch the whole mission. One of the main things revealed about the game was that any vehicle you could see is able to be driven. Currently the release date is set to be Spring 2019. At this E3 we got three major announcements related to various Elder Scrolls games. The Elder Scrolls Legend will be getting a redesign and become available on Nintendo Switch, PS4 and Xbox One later this year. Any progress currently made on the game on mobile or PC will carry over to these editions when they release. A new Elder Scrolls game called Blades was also announced at the conference. It is a first person RPG designed for mobile. In the game you get a personalised town that you can customise. You also have the ability to visit friends towns. There will also be a one on one arena mode with other players and an abyss mode which is essentially an endless dungeon system. The game will be free and you can currently pre-order it on the App Store or Google Play Store. Finally we received an extremely short teaser for the next Elder Scrolls main game. Currently the only information we can see about it is the setting but make sure to stay tuned to Rectify Gaming for any other information that comes out. The next installment of Doom is called Doom Eternal and is a direct sequel to the Doom reboot in 2016. The game takes place on Earth but is attacked by Hell's forces after the previous game. Currently the game is said to have twice as many demons as the previous game. We received more information about Doom Eternal at QuakeCon which begins August 9th so make sure you stay tuned to our Twitter and YouTube for the information as it comes out. The next Wolfenstein game is called Youngblood. The main characters are Jessica and Sophia, who are trying to resist the Nazis during the 1980s in Paris. The game is designed to be a co-op experience, meaning two players can fight together at once in the story, and this will release in 2019. We also received an announcement about a VR Wolfenstein game called Cyberpilot. You play as a hacker who tries to break into and sabotage the Nazi regime in order to aid the French resistance. Prey is receiving a free update with a large influx of new content. This will include three new game modes, story mode, new game plus and survival mode. The reveal also came with a trailer for Prey Moon Crash, players fight to escape the moon for an endless run. Every run is said to be different and is available now for $20. We also got an announcement for an upcoming DLC later this year called Typhon Hunter. This is a multiplayer 1v5 prop hunt style game mode. Prey Transstar is a new VR experience for Prey coming out later this year. As well as an incredibly short Elder Scrolls 6 teaser, we got a short trailer for an upcoming game by Bethesda called Starfield. Currently nothing else about the game is known. <laughs> 